So I'm not sure anybody really understands just how big these 32 by 32s are, were, <laughs> if they never placed them in play mode. They're just massive. People would talk about wanting 64 by 64, which, <laughs> I mean, it's hard enough to find a place to put a 32 by 32. I'm in a pretty big public space that I have to myself, which is pretty amazing. And yet, this thing barely fits. I'm not even sure I can walk around to the front of it from the outside, you know, like going around the side. But I thought I'd give it a try. So, technically, uh, Minecraft Earth is no longer actually working. Um, all I wanted was to look at my builds in play mode one more time, so that apparently can still be made to work with some shenanigans. So here's my space. No way I could put a 64 by 64 in here. And how many people living in like an urban area would have access to anything like this even? Nobody. So. This was my fancy garden challenge entry. I used to like to put a word in each build. So this one says heart. Uh oh, I think somebody just died. <laughs> Yeah, this was fun to build. I really enjoyed it. I love uh, big old warehouses, industrial buildings. Now the funny thing is that the door is too low. <laughs> so I can't actually just walk inside without walking through the walls. I can put my foot down low and pretend. There we go. Now this was before Moolip came into our lives, so this is all Moo Bloom. And I I manipulated things so that she could only plant in a pattern that I liked by putting down green carpet tiles because she can't plant her yellow flowers in there. And I pulled out the big sunflowers that she planted, except for where I wanted them. And then I enjoyed growing this. I liked that there was a part of it that I just grew in place. So the vines, I just let them grow. So the idea is that like, this is an old warehouse that was used for some industrial purpose in the earlier part of the 1900s and then some part of the economy collapsed and it wasn't used for that anymore and you know stuff started growing in and on it and down through the uh, the glass ceiling there's a catwalk up there a lot of this was never shown in my build contest entry so and I don't I don't know that we had build plate share links at that time and then this tree these trees were so expensive with the gold blocks <laughs> And I had a mob of me in here, but I don't, I don't know where she is. She's the, oh, there she is. She's the gardener. Yeah. Hey, Moo Bloom. Let's see if we can go talk to her. I love how the mobs just make it alive, you know, making sounds. And this was her little potting bench that I made for her here. I just felt like it needed a place for a human, you know, how she would get up to the catwalk. The moss growing on the window ledges. The note blocks don't do anything. I just thought it needed a different texture. Where'd she go? Oh no, she left. 
Where is she? I got distracted and didn't go talk to the gardener and now she's gone. <laughs> Sometimes she leaves the building like she'll walk outside. It's a peaceful place to hang out. I increased the device sounds on this stream. Oh, there she is. So maybe, um, maybe you can hear it a little bit, but we've got cows moving, birds chirping, a little bit of water. I'm really tall, apparently, compared to her. Hi. Let's see if she'll... I'm waving, but I guess that feature doesn't work. She doesn't wave back, but she's saying hi. Hi. All right. Well, I'm just so pleased. So pleased to be able to be in here again one more time and to get a recording of it. I want to see the big glass windows with the trees do them. All right, this is good. I like it. So I brought a second device, very fancy, so that I can talk to people and look at the chat without and maybe not lose all the chat messages. Oh, we got company. Hello. The door thing. Yeah, the door thing being too short was part of your feedback. That's good. Uh, thank you. Thank you for the compliment. I'm glad to see that somebody joined. I'm just delighted that this is even working. Huh. All right, so let's see if we can do another one. Let's see if it'll let us look at another one. So it's not saving the state of the um, builds plates menu. It is interesting to see what changes. Uh, what else do I want to look at? I want to look at all of them. All right, so this one just, it didn't get any love in the build contest, even though, honestly, it was a favorite of mine. It was my three little pigs build contest entry. And um, it's a spiral, which probably was not apparent. Oh, come on, that's a place button. Please work. Please work. Oh, okay. So, yeah, the thing about the 32 by 32 is that it's, you, you can't place it in front of you. You wind up in it when you place it down. Pretty consistently, I found this to be true. So very dangerous. We'll probably see some of these pigs die that are up on the tower. They're supposed to be the pale warrior maidens protecting the more vulnerable piggies down below from their watchtower. But of course, I didn't set it up right. And they can... Ah, dang it, I got something biting me. Um, and they can just fall right off. And they will, <laughs> I discovered. They are not that smart. They will fall off. And then this one looks good in the woods. And I built a custom tree, which is not is very much a learned skill that <laughs> is in progress for me. Let's put it that way. I nevertheless wound up being quite fond of it. Let's see. And I sort of inadvertently made a pig's face in the little straw hut here. I'll scoot back so that we can get a gander at it. Some builds are much better in play mode. I like to build for play mode, but some builds are much better in um, build mode where you can really see everything 
and it's it can be hard to make that mental transition between building and build mode where everything's in miniature and you can get this you know all powerful all seeing almighty overview of everything and then walking around in it in play mode where you really have a different view but yep see accidental pick face i didn't mean to do that i'll call it a happy accident Well, it's a big tree, we can say that, even if it's not a very good tree. <laughs> But there's a spiral path, kind of like the Wizard of Oz, that goes around and elevates gradually as it goes up. So you can't really see it, but and then it goes up into the treehouse, and eventually it goes all the way up into the base of the tower. And there's a door. And then I didn't put an interior in the tower, because, you know, why not? Anyway. So I really just wanted to look at builds. I feel like I'm what I need to. So it looks like my second device went to sleep and I lost contact with the chat room, so we'll see. Uh, let's see. I'm not going to try and do a night play because those are impossible. Yeah, I think this stream choking when I leave AR is just, that's just the way it is. <laughs> and I've accepted that reality, so I try to, I'm too excited probably to shut up. But generally, I try to not, to, if I'm more disciplined, I won't talk. The elusive place button. So this was the last build challenge. The witch hut, is it, maybe? It was supposed to be like you were putting a house on the market. So I built a house I would want to live in. Look, it has a face too. <laughs> I'm not sure if I would actually want to live in a house that's surrounded by giant mushrooms though. But the house itself is nice. And the giant mushrooms were one of those things that would go outside the build plate area. I've got the glare from the sun, so I can't really see, but... Let's walk right into the awning. Here we go. In. <laughs> Fine. All right. I mean, it's completely boring. It's just a house, right? 
but if you want to make a house that you would actually live in. I put a little lava in the fireplace so it would glow. And a little hidden lighting. I like this dash lighting everywhere. There's usually some under the floor. The kitchen. And there's an upstairs. I don't know if we're going to be able to see it. out back dirt let's walk into the hill so I built it into a hill so right now we are probably walking through the hill one of those funny things about AR you can walk through walls So we're in a wall right now. So I finished my super season last night. It wound up being a bit of a speed run. But I got 100%. I was very pleased. It's nice to have that completion within your control, I guess, probably. All right. Well, speaking of geothermal heating, I know just the one to look at next. Let's see. In a minute here, we'll walk through water. So this was the underground house built challenge, uh, my entry for that, built on the diagonal, and uh, which is just tricky, difficult, often. 
very difficult. So I have to go into the sun, which means I will not be able to see. Um, I think that I was at the point that this was announced, I was super frustrated with build challenges. Like I felt like I could never, I could never win, you know? I mean, I'll be honest, it would be nice to win occasionally. My record of actually winning first place was pretty sad given how many I entered. But, uh, what are you gonna do? Um, so I didn't do this until pretty late, but then it sort of dawned on me that like an underground house is something that my husband and I talk about a lot and it would be kind of stupid for me to not enter this one. So I did. Um, the interior isn't very complete. Like this, I was attempting to make a home gym, <laughs> which did not really work out. And I feel like the build palette was a little limited at the time that I did this. I love to put the glazed terracotta and everything. I really like interiors, so I always built an interior, sometimes better than others. And shoving lighting in this thing was hard enough. With it being underground, that was a necessity. It was hard to light. And then above there's gardens, which is pretty much if you're going to build an underground house, it's how you would do it, right? Private areas of the house under the hill, built into a hill. And then um, the more public areas towards the light with the big sort of solarium really low doorway and a bathtub I would love to have a bathtub which we don't um, so glass wall which would be south facing And did this sort of open tiled lattice over it, which in real life would be completely impractical, but you know, it's my job so I can do what I want. Okay, Wasn't much to put in here in the way of toys. <laughs> Yeah, it all kind of falls apart when you are in play mode in terms of how you perceive it visually. Oh. I'm not really sure what happened there.
I think um, I think one thing that's happening is my phone is quite hot. Oh, let's walk through the water one if we can. This is all kind of. We'll see if it works. Um, that's the current situation. It's amazing that it is working as it is. So, yay. <laughs> it's working somewhat. But if things are wonky, I guess I can't be too surprised. Or badly. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so we're in water, which renders very strangely. Um, this was for the natural habitat build contest, I think. Something, it's called something like that. So this is basically a glow squid habitat. And I made up the whole story. In part because it was delightful. And in part because having a story seemed to help um, people um, be interested in the build. I guess letting people know what I was thinking. Giving them a narrative to hang on to. What the story was, I'm not actually sure. I think I called it Squidlantis. Um, so this is, a, I'll step back in a minute and we'll see. This is a water tank completely filled with water source blocks, which basically I built it all dry and then I put the water in after, which was not easy. And there's probably still some flowing water in a few places that we may find. Yeah, like here. It's quite difficult in certain places. Oh, look, there they are. This um, ugly blue blob is actually a stack of coral since we never got the update aquatic in this version of bedrock. Um, I use glazed terracotta for the, for the coral. All right, let's so we'll walk back here and get a look at it. And there's some, there's like a little collection room island up here. It needed something to like anchor it up in the corner, I felt like. And then the island sort of has like this jagged part that comes down from it. That part was so difficult to fill. And there's a way that you can kind of stand just right. You can kind of see it clearly. Hey, buddy. <laughs> there we go. That's pretty nice. And I grew the seagrass in place. Not really another way to do it. Well, 
I don't know if it is. Uh oh. <laughs> clutch room down. Yes, clutch rooms are not the smartest. I tried to give them a bunch of shade up there so they would be calm, but. And then the water does this, which is, I think it's a Minecraft thing. Like, it's not a bug. Or if it is, it's a bug that doesn't just exist in Earth. But it's just the way the water renders. Ah, oh, there's my phone again. I think my phone isn't happy. Too much AR. <laughs> the strain is too much. I had to, had to rework the build after I filled it with water and put the squid in because there were too many places um, where they would just get caught and I think die. Several squid were lost in the making of that build. It wasn't the safest habitat. I don't know how much longer my phone is going to be happy, so I want to be picky. I think I want to look at the B one. This is this was really the last build challenge. I said that which hut one was, but that's not true. So this is the final sunset build challenge, I think they called it. I think it was kind of anything go. I prefer to have a theme. Um, it just makes it a lot easier on me, selfishly, but that's okay. I, uh, I like Minecraft bees, and it's really a shame that we did not have bees and the cows that plant flowers all together. Oh, I see what... Mm, I guess I'm in... Okay. Oh, it's just taking a long time. Okay. Right. So this was sort of a... The cathedral, sort of a cathedral. I'm not a religious person. Don't really know much about cathedrals. Not sure I've actually ever been in one. But, um... I do love pipe organs. So I had to include a pipe organ. And I tried a lot of different blocks, but the bone block seemed to be the best for the pipes. That probably was super non-obvious in my build entry. But uh, I guess I didn't do it for other people. Let's turn off bright mode for a moment. So this floor is glass over wood and sandstone I think the idea was that the yellow glass gave it a sort of like it was a coating of honey almost oh there's a bee and then hanging down from the the big thing in the sky we've got some dripping lighting and various bees. So each bee was a different kind of bee. Since Minecraft Earth liked to have mobs that were reskinned, how would you reskin the bee? So this is, here I will show you. This is lava bee.
There's one. This is Rainbow Unicorn Bee. I didn't feel like it was rainbow enough to truly be successful. This is more of an attempt than a success. This, of course, is a carpenter bee. All wood. I think I'm going to have to turn bright mode back on because I can't see very well. Boop. Yeah. Or is it? Nope. I couldn't see well enough. I don't think that's wood. There's one that's all wood. But my favorite... Oh, there's the mint chocolate chip bee. Uh, there's my favorite. It's... I'm looking right into the sun. Sorry. It's like a redstone bee. That one was fun. Little piston wings. And then the glass all around was sort of like a sunset. Since this was the sunset build challenge. I built the glass enclosure to be the sunset. And it's just on three sides. And um, originally there were lips and maybe moo blooms, natural companions and friends of the bees. So I didn't bring any with me. And they would start off at, up at the top of this grass sort of staircase and plant flowers on their way down. And I don't think any of them died, amazingly. I don't think they fell. I think that's the wood bee up there. And there's a baby bee in here somewhere too. But in play mode, it's quite difficult to find my way around. So substances is on. This is America. We don't do that here. Not like you crazy hedonistic Europeans with your legalities. Okay. Well, still holding out, which is amazing. Or is it? I guess it's test technology. It either works or it doesn't. And for whatever reason, it seems to be basically working. I really thought that um, the servers would object to there being a difference between my time zone or my geolocation and my date. I just set the date back one day. That seemed like the sort of simplest way to go about it. My really terrible first build. <laughs> I struggled so much with that tree. My brother is a landscaper and he was trying to help me understand trees. <laughs> um, all right, so this one, oh, not build mode, darn it. It can only be operated in a build mode, but it looks really impressive in play mode. It's kind of fun. Let's see, there's only one way out here. And that is through. <laughs> if I can get a place button. So I brought something to sit on. Maybe I won't get eaten up this time. Oh, come on. The chickens are chickening. Oh, 
Oh, come on. I really wish I, I am regretting having hit build by accident. Let's try this again. It's entirely selfish. I just want to walk around in my builds one more time. <coughs> it's interesting. Of the state. I wonder if that was always the case that play mode did not change the state of the build menu or the um, build plate menu. That is a detail that I completely missed, if so. All right, so I'm gonna walk forward to place this one because it's nice to be able to get back from it a bit. Provided I actually built it to facing to the front, which uh, I didn't always do. <laughs> Easy to get disoriented from what it considers to be the front. That was one of the big challenges with the the 64 by 64 that I faked. Um, I had to place blo I had to carefully uh, place blocks to so that I could know where the front was because you turn the plate all the time when you build, so it's easy to lose track. Getting them so that they would mate up logically. Uh, that's tricky. That's interesting. Hmm. All right. So this was the plentiful farm challenge. That's right. I did two. It was funny because I did this, and the idea was that it was making rainbows or something. <laughs> Happy, happy, joy, joy, making rainbows. And the stacks up at the top are um, concrete concrete makers. You just tap in build mode. You just tap, and um, they the stacks of concrete powder fall into water, so you could uh, get concrete. And then there's various crops, flowers, wheat, carrots, things like that, chickens, Um Jurgensen was incredibly helpful when it came to the mechanics of the chicken. Um, kind of terrible at stuff like that, I guess, but um, he had built this massive chicken farm <laughs> and he gave me the share link and I was able to sort of copy his nice way of uh, getting the flow with water. So the idea was that in build mode, you would, I gave you buckets of water and you would, you know, once everything had grown, you would sort of flush, place the buckets of water at the top in a couple of key locations and the water would flow through everything and flush all of the um, farm products into these little pools down here. It actually kind of worked. <laughs> it actually kind of worked. There's all these channels. There's ice in the bottom of them so that stuff wouldn't get stuck. It was fun. It was hard. Jerkinson kept me together during this one, man. He was very encouraging. I think I did it over the course of a weekend. The stupid cactus farm never worked right. The idea is that it, they would grow and hit the fence posts and 
you know, pop off, which does work, but then the cactus kind of goes everywhere. So this is one of the channels that the water would come down, it would flow through and splash down in here with all of the stuff in it, and then come down this channel with ice into the little pool that I'm sort of standing in here. And then carefully getting the bedrock covered with the rainbow wool, getting the rainbow wool oriented the right way so that it made a nice like stripe around the edge. I don't know what it looks like from the back. So I think these water flows right here are really just decorative. I don't think they had a purpose. Lighting stashed in here. And then the funny thing was, after I did this, the next build challenge was a rainbow build challenge. And I was like, uh -huh, well, <laughs> but I just did that. So I did something different. That one's on a night plate, but uh, I really like it, so I might give it a shot because it actually has a little redstone in it. Uh, I briefly saw that you were apologizing for not paying attention. Do not worry about it. <laughs> like I said, this is a selfish stream. You may not have heard that part. It's as if you have a life that you must lead. There's a switch here somewhere I really cannot see. Yeah. Okay, I think this is it. Maybe.
I had hoped to time TNT explosions with the uh, blocks flying up in the air, but I just couldn't. Uh, I just couldn't get the timing right. TNT takes a really long time to explode. Maybe, maybe one more. I'm not going to try and work with the 64 by 64. It's, it's very tricky and that's okay. I think. Maybe two more. <laughs> This was the first really big build that I did. It was the second build challenge build that I entered. And uh, it didn't win anything. The competition was, shall we say, rather stiff. I thought that it would do well, but it, it truly did not. It was very difficult at the time. This is all on the diagonal. And this is the reason why I now use a stylus to build, because doing this with my finger sucked. This glass roof. We got ice when I was partway through the build, so that was exciting. We got a winter biome plate, or snowy biome plate. And I was able to unlock it. Level 15, was it maybe? And uh, so I was able to incorporate ice into the build, which was great. And I had to harvest some of the lighting out of the floor because it was just so scarce. The glowstone was just so scarce. And redstone lamps. And a lot of white carpet because I didn't have anything else. So this would have been like January of There's no such build plate. 
how could that be? So I think this is going to be the last one. Now this build killed me at least once in the game. Let's see if I can find the front. I think the front is over there, which is not awesome. too far. Honestly. So I think this is one where I did not build the front at the front. Because that's the back. Let's try this again. Actually, let's walk up and try it again. Yes, I know I am moving too quickly. There we go. That's the front cake. Look, the promise of cake. This is the cake one. Cool. Let's see if we can go get some cake. See if I can remember how everything works. Hmm. I should pull this, right? Yes, I should. Oh, bright sun, bright sun. Maybe or something. I think there's shenanigans happening with roller coasters too. I'm in the bright sun, I cannot see. Alright, so oh, here we go. There's a gate. Yeah? Alright, cool. What's in here? Oh, look, pigs. They're so cute. Hey guys. Hey, look at you having fun. Where's the cake though? Hmm. 
Oh, uh oh. <laughs> the roller coaster stuff didn't work. Oh well. So the <clears throat> the snow golem, the moo bloom, and the mm, whatever that is. The sheep, the ram. They're supposed to go off into their own places and get dumped off into various parts of the build. So like the snow golem would go down here and spread snow around where the llamas are. And the sheep, yeah, would come down here and start fighting with the sheep. Hey, please don't hurt me, dude. Um, and the moo bloom, I think, would just sort of travel around. It was very cute. All right, well, uh, oh, big mushrooms. Let's keep going. What else is there to see? Hey, llama. Mm. Oops, I'm in the mud. Oh wow. I'm in the track. Okay. There's the tracks. This looks different. Maybe there's cake here. There he goes. Oh, he gets dumped out. So I could open this door, but... Ah, uh, yeah. What's the worst that could happen? Oh, wait. I could die. Let's not do that. Oh, I have to open that door. That's right. That's the deal. If you want the cake, you gotta open this door. Maybe. Or, you know, not. I see. Okay. Ah, uh, that's right. We opened the bunnies. The bunnies are pretty sure they don't want to go near that ground thing though, which is probably smart. Smart bunnies. Surprisingly. Bunnies, oh dear. Usually aren't that smart. Hey guy. Um, I'll just, you know, I'll just walk through here. Huh. Where did my slimes go? Ooh, what's that? That doesn't look like cake. Weird. Okay. Let's see if I can find my way. There's a track. I don't like the look of that. Oh, wait. So the problem is that I'm kind of like bumping up against the woods. <laughs> so I can't follow this through the way I'm supposed to. <laughs> and I'm walking through walls and stuff. Because I just... I would have to move it again. All right. So basically, the idea was that you would you would see a door down here, and the trigger for that door would set off the TNT, and then you would run desperately this way and try and get out in time before the TNT blew you up, and then just walk through a few more walls. And you would run out of the exploding building here and see that it was all a lie. This was my fun house build challenge. Build. And it was fun to build.
Hey, Moose. Well, I'm afraid you're coming in at the end. I think that I'm going to finish. Um, this is certainly more than I could have hoped for, honestly, given that um, the client had a kill switch built in that went off last night. Um, anyway, thank you for joining, and um, I hope that we stay in touch. It's certainly been fun. It's a great game. And I will talk to you later, hopefully. Bye.